Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Let's get into your week ahead reading. I hope everyone had a happy Mother's Day. Yeah, let's take a look. So, wow, gosh, I can't even believe we are this far into like the month already. May, um, the week of May 13th through the 19th, we're going to take a look. And I was shuffling right before I hit record, so Twin Flames popped out, of course. You have the butterfly and, oh, they're giving you two. The sword and the rose and self-indulgence. Ooh, indulging with a twin flame this week, Virgo. All right, let's take a look here. Um, you're getting some clarity and truth. It's going to help a relationship evolve to the next level. Um, and an opportunity to indulge in something tasty, Virgo. <laughs> Okay, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy these readings here on my channel. Okay, Virgo, let's get started. What's going on here? Something with a relationship going to the next phase. A twin. Doesn't have to be a twin. Could just be someone who is like the yin to your yang, right? All right, let's take a look here. So you've got the high priestess. Oh, and the two of pentacles. So, hmm, trying to balance out the mystery of this connection here. A little bit of juggling. I feel, um, you know, Virgo kind of feels like there is this energy of how to manage a particular relationship with someone that either is very secret or is very mysterious. So there may be a, a person, oh, my candle's turning black. What is going on? I kind of feel like there's some kind of secret. Somebody's doing this, should I say something? Should I tell, should I reveal a secret? That's, that's the message. Somebody's got something to reveal and they don't know if, uh, like how, either how they should say it they're kind of up and down about this, about some kind of secret. Oh, and I feel like it has something to do with bringing some clarity and truth. Oh gosh, Virgo, somebody wants to indulge in you. So bringing some clarity and truth. Okay, let's take a look here. They're weighing some kind of options here. Oh shit, okay. So you do have Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius energy, but I feel like somebody Somebody here wants, like, there's this desire to, I feel like somebody wants to be with you and cut off some other people that are causing problems in a relationship or in a connection, okay? To have some kind of renew, renew their spirit. They're cutting, I'm hearing they're saying cutting some dead weight, cutting dead weight. People who pose a problem people who are just hangers on people who are draining another person's energy somebody wants to renew some kind of relationship with you they're very hopeful that there's going to be an opportunity and and so i kind of feel like this is a little bit of a progression like this person is like all right i gotta figure out how to do this i gotta figure out like what is the best way or who's got to go first Who's got to go first? So somebody's doing a cutoff. In order for a relationship to evolve to the next phase, you and with you. All right, Virgo. This is interesting for this week. Now, yeah. Renewal, renewal, reunion, connecting with you. Okay. So whomever your person is that you consider your twin flame or your you know the, the the corn on your cob or the peanut butter to your jelly whatever the deal this person i see them this week going through a little bit of this progressive phase and they're in this like so i don't feel like there's communication here with you this week not i mean not that there there there, there may be but not communication about this or about what's going on this is something internal so they either have people or a person a place or a thing 
which a thing could be, you know, like a noun, anything, that they are considering that they need to be done with in order to have some kind of re like reunion or rec like not even so much a reconciliation, but a renewal of some type of coming together with you this week. Okay, right. So that you can be together. That's what I'm hearing. So that you can be together. Now, what is keeping, I just want to know, what is keeping this person apart from Virgo? That this energy needs to play out. So in order to have a renewal, or in order to come back, there has to be some kind of separation, right? There has to be some kind of separation. Now let's take a look. So even with the high priestess, I feel like this person intuitively knows that this is what they have to do. This is what they have to do. I don't know if they were given a message that this is what they have to do or if this is something that they're kind of like, oh, yeah, you know, I can't get into the pool unless I, put, unless I take my shirt, my socks, and my shoes off. I got to put on a bathing suit. I got to make some kind of change in order to go to the next thing here. Okay. Let's see. What's going on? Mm, get the sun. Tired of being lonely. This so that's one big thing. I don't know how that like what maybe that'll resonate for you. But this this person, I feel like they're, they're isolated. They're isolated. They're by themselves. I I don't feel like um, they are. Maybe they just it's just them and their kid, you know, or um, their pet. <laughs> maybe they have a unicorn. I don't know. It's just them and and pretty much on their own by themselves without you they don't have a lover they have a they have a thing this is my crush card right here this person there's this self-reflection they think about you and they're like oh you're so positive and you just excite me Virgo. <laughs> you excite this person you know you give them like i don't know you're like the wind virgo to their dreams <laughs> so i feel like even with the sun here leo virgo some of you might be on the cusp leo virgo energy this week they want to talk to you they want to oh you're going to hear from them yes at first i was like oh i don't know and i wanted to know what was keeping them from what, like what they needed to cut off what they needed to do okay the sun is shining, but they're in a really dark place. Talking to you brings them joy. That's what I feel. So what do they need to get rid of? Some heavy, heavy burden. Now this is labor. It could be work. Okay. Th this could just be a simple message as they work a nine to five and the week, as soon as the weekend's up, I'm going to Virgo, right? It's that energy, whatever, whatever. And that's just one example of a message, but it feels mostly like this person has like oh, they're toiling not in the toilet a toilet papering they're toiling like they have this huge heavy burden that they're carrying all by themselves and they're trying to unload this burden okay i'm trying to get a little more specific mostly the burden of 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 loneliness is what i feel this is their burden of loneliness. They have a burden of loneliness. Loneliness can be a burden. Absolutely. For some, it's a gift. <laughs> some of us are like, bring it over. Bring it over here. I want to be alone. But being alone and being lonely are two different things. This person just feels lonely. They do. They feel all by themselves. All by myself. Don't want to be all by myself. Yeah. Okay. Three of Pentacles. So either it, this is work. They're they're in this heavy, intense training of some sort. Are they doing some teaching, mentoring, learning? They could be in school. They have a burden of some type of thing that they they're doing that is just heavy. For some of them, it's unburdening themselves from other people that are kind of like have a hold on them in some way. I, I, you know, I know some of you are like, okay, 
uh, or some of them are waiting for their kid to move out. I just heard like it's time they might have a child that they, you know, that takes precedence over a relationship or a grandchild, um, or the burden of parenting or their co-parenting. <clears throat> so there's a lot going on. I have to say it doesn't. Oh yeah, okay. There could be an ex that they're co-parenting with and they feel alone and it's like just doing the duties and, and they're just really i don't so i don't see that this like i said i feel like this person alone could be a work thing i don't feel like it's like they're in a relationship with someone else and they're getting rid of that person to be with you i don't see that i feel like this person is pretty much by themselves here and they want things to change and it's coming from this heavy burden of loneliness. So this week, Virgo, someone, one of you Virgos is going to get some type of communication from this person. What are they going to say to you? What are they going to tell Virgo? All right, we've got a King of Cups. So that would be the first court card. Oh, and the Six of Cups. So for some of you, this could be a water sign. This person reconciling, uh, reminiscing, thinking of you. And again, another reunion coming back together kind of thing. So that's three cards that represent that, right? It doesn't have to be a water sign. It's just the sharing of the emotions. This person, very nostalgic. Some of you might get this, um, oh, well, you know, it's funny. I don't know why, but this card always makes me feel like the Mother's Day card, this and the Empress, only because it's children. So you could be a parent. There could be like, um, you know, we celebrated the Mother's Day in the United States. I know some, some in the UK had theirs back in March, but there may be a belated, a belated Happy Mother's Day. There may be a gift, but six represents harmony, appreciation, loyalty, responsibility. And I feel like you're going to get some kind of communication from whomever your person is regarding some type of appreciation that they have for you. <laughs> and and the way you make them feel, Virgo, the way you make them feel, okay. Um, and they're gonna tell you that there's, they have like, they see potential growth, like really, for some of you, this is someone that you knew before, even in your childhood or someone, they may, I'm hearing, in, uh, yeah, there's travel. They may invite you or invite invite you to go somewhere with their kids um, or grandkids or where there's children. But I'm also feeling um, oh, Cupid's arrows. You're definitely going to hear from this person this week. They could be a fire sign, air sign, water sign, earth sign. But they're coming through with this king of cups energy, masculine or feminine, where they are, I don't want to say over the top with their feelings but they do share their emotions this is a person of very little words but the words that they say are endearing and i'm feeling a sense of sincerity and endearment coming from this person and also something about um, travel a trip or travel or going somewhere okay so i kind of like this virgo i feel like I don't know what I'm feeling. They just, it left me. <laughs> but I, I like this energy for you because I feel like some of you, maybe you've been waiting to hear from somebody. Listen, this, and I want to make this clear. This could be a romantic partnership. This could be a friendship. This could be related to a sibling or a family member. You have to take it as it comes. You know your story. See if it applies. But there's definitely... Uh, a renewal energy here okay does this mean the past is coming back i mean sure why not it could and does that mean you have to take it no <laughs> you do what you want but you know what while we have the week coming up i wanted to get into some career money because i just feel like a lot of people are suffering right now financially you know and i want to see anything that comes up for you this week as far as your career and things like that okay so let's try to get in and see what's going on anything that virgo needs to know 
All right, you have movement. You'll make good progress now and you will be able to overcome any obstacles in your path. Big leaps forward are possible. So that is good. Some of you might take a job working in automotive sales or auto sales. And that, or um, tech, auto tech or building automobiles, working on automobiles. Um, you may go back to a job like that. You may be thinking of what you want to do and that might be something that you want to do or you might want to, you know, move to the other side of the building in a different department if you're in working in that kind of thing. But here you have beginning. It's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career. You have creative ideas that get noticed, build a nest egg for the future. So I feel like it's you got to get up off your ass. That's what I feel like the biggest message is here. <laughs> I don't care what you have to do. So if and and i'm gonna and i only say this because <laughs> i'm in new jersey and we don't pump our own gas here so we always say you know what if you just need to go pump some gas on the weekend so i know a lot of you would probably laugh at that because you you get paid to do that yeah here in new jersey it's against the law to pump, pump your own gas i think i've done it one time maybe twice <laughs> but anyway this is really just a message of like if you need money just go do figure something out just go get your money somehow some way however some of you might be thinking of starting a new job movement is really giving me automobile transportation so you know if you're going to be like a delivery driver and i'm just talking about secondhand cash right to what you're already doing or making a major career move okay maybe you're going to start a um transportation company or do something with anything to do with four wheels pretty much and it could also be um airplanes trains boats anything to do with transportation um yeah i feel like there's something there for some of you maybe you've already started a job or a, a new career in that or you just took a side thing something connected to that uber whatever um that's a good path for now for you i feel like in this week if you're looking they're saying go look in that area you also have investment okay invest in your education and make some big plans for the future take calculated risks but save something to fall back on okay so some of you might need to go in for some training and you might be getting some training this week investing in education okay so if you are that Virgo that's like, you know, I really want to change my career. I've been doing the X, Y, Z for so long and I'm either bored with it or it's not going anywhere. I can't go any further with it or I just want to refresh and renew and try something different. The, the message here is go and get some training or some education in that first, right? Obviously, go get some new you want to start a new job some of you go back to school get that money get that loan whatever and invest <clears throat> you also have <laughs> this is supposed to be trapped but they wrote some of you've been tarped <laughs> you feel stuck in your current situation but you do have options look for another job while keeping the one you have for now so this is a real strong message don't get tarped don't get tarped in your situation <laughs> right some of you i'm telling you this is like a, an itch somebody's got an itch to move on and get out uh but not you can't leave your job yet you can't break the bank you have to have that source of income but it's time to start thinking about making some kind of sh shift or change here financially for yourself doing something different or adding something on super super important and you also have wisdom. You are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience. So for some of you, this is you training as well, moving into a different uh, place. You know, some of you were out on the floor and you were doing all the work and you're out on the front lines. But now some of you are going to fall back and go. Maybe you'll do training. You can do that. That's one of the options here and training others. You've already graduated. Now you need to pass it on. And you, you also have freedom. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and income. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off, will help. Time off will help you get clear. So, hmm. Self-employment might be 
what it is. And for some of you, you're starting some kind of company or you have the desire now's the time to do it this week or to take a few days off and figure out, like really get a game plan together. Connections, build bridges between people, contact those who can help you. Your actions set you up for the next opportunity. So is money coming in? It looks like it's going to come in, but it looks like you have to, st You. it looks like you need to network. You have to do a little bit of networking to increase your income. I mean, I feel like once you put yourself out there, you, you something will come through. But I do feel like for every for every hundred um, leads, you get one. So for every two hundred, you get two. For every three hundred, you get three. I mean, that's kind of a breakdown, right? So you really got to put in a lot of effort. Right? You only get little back, but the more people you accumulate, the more leads you accumulate, the more people you work with, the more connections you make, the more people start talking about you. And then the more it starts kind of just spreading like wildfire, you know, like referrals and stuff. So this is a really good thing. This is a really, really good thing. I feel like you're on a good path. If you've been thinking about changing your job or you want to do something new or you need more income and adding on something to what you already do or switching it up or doing something completely different or switching to another department or another area um, and staying in the same field is the way to go right that's what's going to make your wishes come true I feel like this week it, this week is all about indulgence and you pretty much receiving what you need that's what I really feel like is going on here okay look so it all starts with your ideas and your plans, money-making future. There you go. Remember I was saying you're going to get any money? This is a gift, receiving a gift. The things you want will come in for you. These are beautiful cards as far as money goes because this is pretty much like rubbing the genie lamp and getting that wish granted. I love it. This is amazing. All right, let's take a look as we go back to your you and your... Uh, your uh, peanut peanut to your, your peanut butter to your jelly person right the person that you call oh they just said home the person that you call home and if you don't have a person that you call home then you could just focus on the career okay you have year of the horse year of the monkey year of the goat year of the ox year of the pig year of the rooster year of the tiger and one more year of the rat okay so if that doesn't resonate that's fine it doesn't mean it's not your message those are just more for the people who do have those signs that will resonate should resonate more for you let's see what else you have what else messages of love for virgo messages of love for virgo Oh, okay, good. All right, let's see what else is coming up here for you, Virgo. All right, longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Well, I think we already know that. Yes, and that's pretty much been showing up in your readings, but I feel like somebody is really, really going to just knock all the pins out, knock them all down, and make way for you, come in for you, try to be with you in some way. All right, for some of you, this is just a strictly sexual relationship, um, meaning for those of you who that's what you're looking for, then yeah, there you go. There you go. Very high passion, fantastic energy between two people. I know there's some here that listen. They don't want marriage. They don't want a commitment. They got a lot going on in their job, in their home, or they're taking care of other people. They just want that passion. They just want that um, passionate uh, connection with someone. There you go. Okay. And that's who I feel like that is for. All right. So for those of you who are just looking for that strict, straight up, se actual relationship, make sure you got your boundaries in place. Right. Usually those who are going in with that are already set up with their boundaries, but if you are that person who is trying to convince yourself you can do that and, and you can't, um, 
like if you're not used to that you got to have make sure your boundaries in place so you're going to do that okay don't get attached for that whoever i feel like this is mostly a message for those of you who have just that very strong passionate connection with someone but there's nothing else okay all right now for those of you who don't have that this is a, a, a faded destined partnership you already know this they already know it they have regret for something there's some regret <clears throat> And you're being told it is safe for both of you to trust in this situation. Okay. You've also done the work. So abundance flows to you now, which is amazing. Right now, you need, for some of you, you need to put away the computer and figure out what you want to do with the relationship, what you want to do with your future. If you're just sitting on the computer watching or, well, I guess most people do watch shows on their computer. But if you just, you just, you're, you're, you need to bring your screen time down. That's what I'm hearing. Reduce your screen time. Somebody needs to reduce their screen time. And forgiveness for yourself or another person will help you move forward, Virgo. One last one. And this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. All right, Virgo. I think we're good. Let's get into some charms. All right. Oh. Look at, oh, 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 oh. What happened? All right. So you're starting off here with a Pisces. So we did have a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King of Cups mostly Pisces energy okay all right August 28th showing up here September 1st and September 15th someone is 46 someone is born in 1962 we do have a December birthday showing up here so you're a person could be born in December they could possibly be a Sag or a Capricorn um, I'm just, they're giving me the name Tiny. Tiny. Either somebody's Tiny. Tiny. Or it's a nickname. Also, I have Jay. Jason. Or Jay. Somebody's name is Jet, too. Uh, or TJ. Okay. Oh, um, somebody lives in East Hanover. East Hanover? I always hear so strange sounds. Um, East Hanover. Okay. Or Han or that's maybe somebody's name is Hanover. Um, somebody's also in United Arab Emirates or is from there. Okay. And <clears throat> so I just want to show you. At first, when this when this charm fell, I thought it was like a king's crown, but I turned it over, and it says princess on it. So if someone thinks you are a princess or a prince, or they call you a princess or a prince, this could be, you know, you might have a maybe a pet whose name is princess. That's like their little pet bowl, really cute. But there is an energy of someone. So that's Prince or Princess Charming. <coughs> Virgo, yeah, you're kind of like, um, whether you're masculine or feminine, you have like the Cinderella vibes, I feel, this week. And I feel like maybe you're that person who's kind of like, well, you know, I'm not out there racing to try to have my Prince or Princess Charming, but, you know, if that pumpkin shows up, you know, I'm fine. I'll, I'll go out with you. <laughs> I'll go out with you. You know, I, I kind of feel like for some of you, that's your energy because the Nine of Pentacles is very independent. Very independent. Almost sometimes the Nine of Pentacles has this. I don't need nobody. I don't need no man. I don't need no woman. But generally, that's kind of a facade. And sometimes that's a fear of getting hurt. Because um, I feel like there is somebody that you want. I do and um i do feel like they're going to be reaching out to you or at least showing up this week and it does give me a vibe of like your prince or princess charming you know what i mean um i know we don't have the knight of cups here but it is feeling like maybe you already had that knight of cups with somebody and it and okay 
Okay, they're just saying year of the dragon. Okay, so I don't know. Something's resonating here with that. I feel for somebody and it's a little bit of maybe it's a sexual relationship where it has the opportunity to turn into something a little more long term or somebody wants to connect with you. You got to figure that out. You know your vibe, right? Um, you know when this person shows up figure out what you want to do you know like for some of you this person is just like it's like yes okay this is great total passion no responsibilities to each other just enjoying our time together enjoying the ride and some of you like no no something more than just a sexual relationship either way this person's whatever the burden is that they're carrying i feel like they're cutting that off they're cutting that off to come towards you okay so you will hear something for sure. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that right there for you. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great weekend, like I said, and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I just want to say real quick, don't go yet. If you became a member of my channel, I want to give you a shout out. Yes, I do. I need to give you a shout out. One sec. Thank you everyone for being in the chat. Also, greatly appreciate that. To all the mods as well, please give them a thumbs up. They're awesome. And we have Pauline Bean Beaniac. And I think that's the most recent. I said Marvin Tyler, Erica Walker, Tiana Gutzmore. Thank you everybody for being a member of the channel. $2.99 per month. The link is in the description box. You can also book a personal reading with me. All right, you guys. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.